Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video tutorial. Over the next couple of minutes I'm going to be showing you how to create a child theme. Now a child theme is a theme which inherits the functionality and design of another theme which is known as the parent theme, um, which would be the theme you purchased from My Theme Shop. And it allows you to modify, uh, change or in any way adapt the functionality and design of that parent theme without modifying that parent theme. And that means that you can future-proof your updates and ensure that when you update your child theme or the theme you've bought from my theme shop you don't lose any of the changes you've made to your theme. So creating a child theme is something that can seriously save you a lot of time and is something we'd very much recommend doing for more comprehensive changes to your themes. So to start off creating your child theme you want to log into your host's FTP account, log into your FTP account and navigate to WP content and then themes. Here you'll see your list of all the themes you have installed and I'm using the best theme here so I'm going to create a child theme for the best theme. So the first thing you need to do is create a new directory. Um, you probably just want to call this the parent theme name and then dash and then child and then click OK and you can see I've created that folder and inside that folder you want to create a new file um, which is style.css so this is your style suite for your child theme. And in its most basic form, that's actually all the files there are in a child theme. But we're going to do a little bit more today and show you how to do a little bit more with your child themes. So we want to head to our WordPress dashboard. And then go to Appearance and then Editor. We now want to go to Best Child. You can see I'm running the Best Parent theme here. I want to go to Best Child and click Select. And you can see WordPress is telling me that the theme is broken because the template is missing. All that means is we haven't set up the style sheets from our child theme to work correctly yet. We can do that by commenting out the first line here and then adding in a couple of lines which WordPress is going to understand. So it understands that we've got a child theme for the best theme or indeed whichever theme you're using. So I want to start off with theme name and I'm just going to call this best child. And the next line we need to add is template and then you want to add the name of whichever theme you're using. So here I'm using best so I'm going to put in best but if you're using a different theme say point you would put in point and that's going to tell WordPress that the parent theme is this theme you've indicated here. Um, you can add in some extra stuff here so perhaps you'd want author um, and a theme version. So we're going to call this 0.1 and then close that comment there, hit update on that and now if we go to themes under appearance we'll see best child is going to be an option to activate. We can now activate this theme and now we've got the theme best child activated but before we go to our site I'm just going to go back to the editor here. So here we need to add in some code which is going to import the style sheet of the best theme and then uh, load that as a default and then we can override that below in our own style sheet. So to do this you need to do at and then import and then URL and then an open bracket and then one quotation mark and then two dots and then slash and then the name of your theme so here it's best and then style.css and then do the same as you've done on the other side just reversing it and then a semicolon to close that off. So what that's going to do is import the best style sheet and then we can overwrite that to make our theme how we want it. So if we update that and then head over to the main site and then just refresh you're going to see that we've got the best theme displaying as it would by default and now if you head back to the editor um, under appearance there then now you can make any changes below that line um, in order to customize your theme however you want it. So for example if I wanted to change the uh, say the background color on the home page to uh, a light gray then I could use this line of CSS and then save that and that's going to overwrite uh, the code that the parent theme has inherited. You can see we've got this light gray background now. So if we go back to the editor here, then here below this import line you can change any of the CSS 
and you can update your parent theme as much as you like and keep it absolutely up to date without losing any of the changes you're making. Now, if you're only updating CSS, then you're best off to use this custom CSS section in the styling options in your theme options panel because it's when you're changing other files in your theme that the child theme really comes into its own. So if we go back to our FTP editor, then um, navigate again to WP Content Themes. And here if we go into the parent theme we're using, and we'll see we have all the themes files here. And if you just download one of them, say header, for example, and then head back to your child theme, um, you can upload that file you've just uh, downloaded to duplicate it into your child theme folder. And now if we go back to our editor, and refresh there, we'll see we have two files here. We have the header and the style sheet. So we've now duplicated the header file into the child theme and we can make any changes here. And again, we won't lose those changes when an update is available for the theme as they won't be overwritten. And you can do this for as many files as you like, just uh, duplicate the files into the child theme and then make the changes from the child theme and then WordPress is never going to overwrite the changes you make and you can really make future-proof changes and update-proof changes in your child theme so you don't lose the hard work you put into your design on your site. And that's really all there is to it. So you need to start off with new folder, put a style sheet in it, use this lines here so that WordPress knows which theme you're referring to and then import the style sheet. You can then overwrite any of the contents of the style sheet, although if you're only changing styling, then you're best off to use the custom CSS option in the theme options, as that's a little bit easier for you. But if you're changing other files, then duplicate them into your child themes folder, and then you can just change them however you want, and they're never going to be overwritten. And that's all there is to it. Any queries, then head over to the My Theme Shop community, and someone will be able to help you. Thank you very much for watching, and best of luck with your site. Thank <music> you.